back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to hop on and kind of do my basic makeup tutorial when I do decide to wear makeup because I am a full-time time college student and I do not get dressed up to go to class. So this is just what I do on a daily when I do decide to put my makeup on and I wanted to, I want to feel cute. So the first thing, and it's kind of like most of my stuff is like affordable makeup. I don't buy all this expensive stuff. I kind of wear Walmart makeup for the most part. The only thing that I do buy that's not from Walmart, that's from Ulta, is my primer. And I've just started using primer and I love this primer. So the first thing I do is put on my primer and I use the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And I'm gonna go ahead and pre-warn. I probably do not do my makeup right, but it's okay. It works for me, it's okay. I'm not a professional <laughs> and I do not know how to do my makeup. Oh well. Okay, so I just put like a little bit on my fingertips, kind of show y'all. And I rub my fingertips together and then I start at my nose and work my way up. And then I go over my eyelids because I tend to forget to put concealer on them to prime them. And I do start at my nose because my nose breaks out a lot more than the rest of my face. Although you can't tell at this moment because I have a breakout here, here, we're not even gonna start pointing that out. Um, and then I take, I'll kind of let this sit. I usually let it sit. I put this on while I do my hair, but I'm not doing my hair today. Sorry. Um, but then I use this beauty blender. I got this one from TJ Maxx and a three set. I usually use the orange um, beauty blender that's like, two for $10 at Walmart. And then um, I use the Wet n Wild foundation, the Photo Focus foundation. And this is the color Golden Beige. Pretty morning. you. It's fall time. And I'm not out in the sun as much as I was during the summer. So this is a little dark. It's okay. I just take it and kind of swap it on there the first time. And I dab my face. Got my lip. Oops. And then I start dabbing. Now I know all you people that do your makeup get tired of dabbing. I do swipe. And I know it's wrong. But I get tired of dad in my face. I feel like I'm smacking the dang crap on my face all the time. So I start swiping. And you'll see me when I start doing my neck because this foundation is a little dark. I will start swiping my neck. Nobody's gonna see it. Nobody's gonna be like, your neck is streaky. Nobody needs to be that close. It's okay. Then I pat away. I'm gonna pat during the video because I feel like I need to be professional with it. I feel like I'm just patting away my life right now. And I get in my hairline, right, like right next to my hairline, because, like I said, this foundation is way a little too dark. See, see, told you. We'll fix that though. We will fix that. Pat, pat, pat. 
Gotta take breaks. My arms get tired and I cannot do this with my left hand. I don't know, like, I feel so weird. I'm right-handed, so I gotta pad away with my right hand. Then my arms get tired. I need to start working out, I guess, cause. And then, oh God. Now to the neck. Told you I'd start slapping. I swap my neck because I cannot. Let me not talk like that in my vocal cords. Oh Lord, that was terrible. Okay. Now, I will go ahead and say most people put on their primer right after they do um, their foundation, but I'm not, and I'll tell you why in just a little while. I just had a while to lie. Please comment below if this happens to you. When you put it on your foundation, you have to start scratching your nose knowing you're going to wipe it away. It's terrible. Like... I'm, right now, I'm actually scratching my nose with this this beauty blender because it's itching like crazy. Whew. Excuse my hair, you guys. I do apologize. Okay, and then I use the NYX contouring pal palette, the highlight and contour palette. Um, the It's actually called the highlight and contour pro palette, but I'm not a pro. So, and this is what it looks like. As you can tell, this is the one I usually use, but it's out. So, I'm going ahead and let you know. My brush is broken, so don't judge. It's okay, we're all imperfect. None of us are perfect. So, my brush is not perfect. It's okay. I can get down and dirty with this thing now. And since this one is out, I kind of mix it between these two. And then I start at my ear and work my way down. Like I said, and I, I got double chin. See this double chin? So I have to hide it. So I, when I do this part, don't know what it's called, Okay, I will go down so that it kind of brings in my jawline. Then I'll do this side. Like I said, probably not doing it right, but it works for me. Now, usually, most of the time, I have my mouth wide open catching flies when I do this, like it is now, but I don't know. And then, I make my way towards my forehead because Lord knows he blessed me and gave me a five head. But he blessed me, so that's all that matters. Oh my God, like this messes my hair up so bad. Okay, who cares? You're doing your makeup, not your hair. Makeup, makeup, makeup. And then, like I said, gotta hide that double chin. So I just gently brush it across the bottom. I don't do too much. Um, let's go ahead and be honest. Let's have an honest moment again. When I watch makeup tutorials, they're like lightly brush. I don't get nothing out of that. Like I'll take this and I'm sitting here Lightly brushing. I don't get anything. 
Like, I'll be here for an hour. And I don't want to take an hour to do my makeup. Let's just be honest. I don't have that kind of time. I'll be like the Spongebob movie. Ten hours later. No. So I get down and dirty. It's okay if you get down and dirty with it. Smush your head. It's okay. You know the limits you can take. I don't do no slow, easy process. We do it fast. We get it done. And then, like, shablam. And then I contour my nose. Just a little bit. Promise it does not look. There goes my nose itching again. Every time I finish something. Okay. So like I said, most people start doing their concealer. Not. I'm going to go into doing, I am going to conceal my eye, my eyelids because I don't have primer. Concealer is my primer. I don't buy way too much. I don't buy all that. Like, I'm not really like a makeup artist. Just showing you how I do my daily makeup. But um, I will say that I use my concealer as my primer. One, so that I don't have to buy an extra thing. And basically that's it. Sometimes I don't even use that. But we're going to use that today. Almighty dang man. All right. Put you back there. Whatever. Okay, next is my eyeshadow. And I don't prefer a brush. So I just use whatever looks good at the time. And I got, excuse my dirty brushes, but this is the flat eyeshadow brush. I got these from TJ Maxx. It was like a pack of 13 for $7 maybe. And I am using the Revolution Makeup, um, one, of the pal one of the palettes. It's kind of like the nude palette. It's a Walmart. It's Walmart, it's Walmart, it's Walmart. And then I kind of just like mix these two. I am not mixing good, not looking at it. And I put these right here in the corner of my eyes. I do this first just so that I can have a base. Most people do the dark first. But I'm not most people. So. Like I said, just put these in the corner of my eye. I'm still using these two right here that you can tell I've put some wear and tear in. I love these two. I love the like white shiny look in the corner of the eyes. Makes your eyes like pop. Okay, next is I am using the eye contour brush. And I usually mix this like light tan with this shiny one. And then I'll get the crease. Of my eyes. And then I'll work my way up. If you hear somebody, that's my neighbor. I'm sorry, you guys. She's outside. Oh my God. There goes my dogs. Yay. Oh well. Work them creases. Like I said, I'm going to say it again. I'm not a pro, but it's okay. Nobody has to be a pro to do makeup. Just saying. 
That dog is not listening to her. Sorry, there's a window behind me. So I'm looking at it. Okay. It looks pretty good for right now. And then I will take this. It's a brow brush. See my eyebrows? I don't work them. But I do have something that I've just bought or just received. That I'm gonna try today. But the brow brush I use for my eyeshadow. Who cares? And then I'll take this rose color again and kinda oh didn't mix it. It's rose colored and this gold. Sorry. And then I'll kind of work that in between the white and the dark on both sides, of course. And then I will take my blending brush and I'll go to town on my eyes. Okay, so now that I've took like the shiny look away, Sorry. Now that I've took the shiny look away with my blending brush, I'm gonna go back with my finger because I've learned that it kind of sticks more with my finger. And I'm gonna grab this one and hit the inner corners of my eye. Kind of make those pop a little bit more. Let me move the camera. Okay, we got the camera closer. Yeah. And then I'm gonna take this rose gold and kind of mix it in. And then the darker color, kind of tap it in the back. And now my fingers are messy. Oh well. Rub it in. Rub it in. Okay. So now that I have my. Eyeshadow done. Sorry. Forgot. You can tell I don't do it. Now that I have my eyeshadow done. We can get down to the concealer. This is when I do my concealer. Because I make a mess with this powder eyeshadow and I get it all under my eyes so this is how I cover it up I use my concealer and then I you know conceal what I need to I have a bump there and I usually rub that off so I just put some concealer and I usually rub this off I don't know I'm bad about rubbing my lips stuff off right around my lips okay and then we are about to look like an Indian for a minute. Like the Indian makeup. Oh wow. Bring it up my nose. Think we should keep it like this, don't you? No. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. And then I'm going to take the pointed end of my blending brush and go to town on it.
and I usually tap the bottom of it first. That way I don't get down in here in the contour stuff because when I was tapping at, when I started tapping from the bottom and went down, it just kind of gradually went into it and I didn't like that. So, and I'm gonna tap over here just a little bit because when I blend, it usually doesn't blend in over here. But you see how it got rid of the mistakes I made? Wonderful. Look at that. Okay. Forehead doesn't look that great, but we will work on it. But the rest of it looks like banging for me. Anyways, I was about to say, tell me I did not leave my... Okay. Did I tell you? I did not tell you what concealer I used. I used the Wet n Wild Concealer. And it's called the Photo Focus Concealer and Corrector because I needed some correcting. Just saying. But I don't know. Okay. I have it in the light medium beige. Can't really see that. Okay. The next is what I do. Do this next, right? is the my setting powder. I use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Sweep and Lock. The translucent setting powder. Cause I can never match my powder. And I always look way too orange for what it is. Like I said, when I start blending, I'm going to town. I don't do this because it'll be like 10 hours later and I'll still be and y'all are not going to watch it that far. Let's just be honest. So, um, I'm about to go to town. So, just take it. I don't do that banging and get it off. I need every little bit of this powder. So, I don't bang it off. I go to town on it. About dropped it. And this is just the powder brush. The all over powder brush. In case she was wondering. And I found that translucent powder, if you don't put it right on the spot that you want it on, like to blend, if like I didn't put it right here on the contour. Yeah. If I didn't put it right here on my contour, then it's not going to blend it. And I don't really like to see completely my contour because I don't like people to know that I actually tried. I mean, obviously they can say I tried because I got makeup on today. But you know what I mean. And then I'm gonna put a little bit on my neck since I did swipe it. So, okay. Now that we got that business done, let's try out this brow mess. All right. So I'm about to get up close and personal with you, but it'll be okay. I don't know how to do my brows. So like I said before, probably not doing it right. It's okay. It'll be okay. The world will be okay. Okay, so this, I just got sent in the mail by Influencer. And it's called Unbelievable Brow by L'Oreal Paris. And it is in the shade... 
Drum roll, please. Just kidding. Um, I'm pretty sure light medium brown. It doesn't have it on here. Okay. Yes, it does. A very small print. It's in the shade light brunette. So, I usually, when I did this yesterday, first time using it, I take it on this little swab. I don't swab my whole eyebrow. And I take it on this little angled brush. I think that's a lot, but. Wow. And I just kind of mix it into my eyebrows. And I don't really like to shape my eyebrows. So this is about all you're getting. I don't know how to shape my eyebrows. And my eyebrows are all jacked up right now. Because when I was getting married last, I have something on my hand. When I was getting married last month, I decided to plug my eyebrows because the lady doing my spray tan told me that um, I couldn't get my eyebrows waxed. I had to plug them. And it was the first time I've ever plugged my eyebrows. Let's just say it was the first time. And the last time. Because I messed these bad boys up bad. Like I trim like I I was plucking and I had this eyebrow wonderful. Like I mean to a T. Got to this eyebrow. And I dang plucked that thing way too far back this way. So you can tell it. So I'm like, hmm, sitting in the mirror. What am I gonna do? Like, I didn't know what to do. So I took this eyebrow and I plucked it the same as this one. So then she had to fill my eyebrows in and I was like, <laughs> it was just two days before my wedding. And I had to mess my eyebrows up. It was terrible. Oh my God. Okay, I'm done with this mess because I don't know what I'm doing. Let me fix it. I don't know what I'm doing. But it was nice enough for them to send it to me. The next thing I usually do is my eyeliner. So again, I'm scooting closer because I have to get really close for this. Oh, let me tell you before I forget. I am using the Ico London um, waterproof liquid eyeliner. Love liquid eyeliner. I mean, like, it's the absolute bomb. And I do not go all the way to my crease, mainly because when I do my eyes water and it, it smears and goes away anyway. So I just learned not to do it. Now I'm going to do this. Uh...
And last, but, no, this ain't last. This is next to last. This is my favorite so far. So I've used like Ulta's mascara, plenty of mascaras, but this is the Mega Plush Volume Express by Maybelline and God almighty dang does it not do my eyelashes so good. So let's get going. I'm gonna close my mouth now that you didn't see me catching flies. Like, look at that. Oh, there goes my dogs. Yay. I usually swap these like at least twice. Oh, sorry, y'all. Catching flies. I don't know if, who can do their mascara without opening their mouth. Please tell me. Please tell me. Because I try to close my mouth, but it's like, I gotta get right along with it. At least their bottom lashes. Who can do their bottom lashes without opening their mouth? I feel like the more I go over my top lashes, the longer they get. Let's see. All right. Next are these beauties. Okay, so I swear by these things. This is the Maybelline 24 hour the Superstay 24 hour lipstick and oh my gosh, I had this one first. So like I had to go back and get a different color. This is the color 115 and then this is the color 150. I love this stuff, love it. It's kind of like lip sense, like it really does stay 24 hours and I'll kind of show you in just a minute. But um, it's kind of like lip sense without the tingle if that makes sense. Like, you put it on, you don't have to do three times, you just do one, and you wait for it to dry, and you put this little chapstick looking clear stuff over it, and you're good to go all day long. Now, if you do start drinking stuff a lot, it does not come off on your cups, but it does kind of wear. Like, if you lick your lips a lot, it's gonna come off, obviously. But you're supposed to put this on, this little chapstick thing on every, like, when, you're not supposed to let it dry out, but I love it. So I'm going to put on the old color that I had because it's kind of, it's kind of more dark. I don't know. I really haven't put the new color on. Let me put this new color on. It'll be okay. Let me see. Yeah, 
I'll do this one. So you kind of just slap it on like regular lip gloss. Oh God. And I use the color 150 just now. I'm trying to get it to dry. And you wait for it to dry and it'll kind of get really sticky. Like your lips will start sticking together. Sorry, I'm, that looks really weird, but can just wait, let it air out. Pretty sure mine's about dry. I don't know, I like the feel of it, like when it sticks. You kinda see it sticking? I think it's pretty good. And then you'll take the little chapstick part and you'll roll it out. Kinda roll it on. And as you can see, no lipstick is on that. So, I'm gonna kiss my hand to kind of show y'all that this stays on. Like, this stuff is good stuff. Good quality, love it. And you buy it at Walmart. It's only, I wanna say at Walmart it's $9 or $7. CVS, it's high. Like, I think I paid like $10. I think it's $7 at Walmart. But look. You get the clear, but you don't get the color. Look. I need some of that. I mean, I got some, but <gasps> that's what y'all are like right now. Like, all day long. Look. Nothing. And y'all can see I am smearing my lip and nothing is coming off but the chapstick. Great stuff. You need it. If you love chapstick like I do, oh, chapstick. If you love lipstick like I do, uh, but you don't like to put it, see, I like lipstick, but I like my lipstick to stay. I don't like to put my lipstick on and be like, drink, because I, I am the world's worst. That was loud. I am the world's worst. When I put my lipstick on, I want something to drink. Like, it's, it never fails. I want something to drink. So, I'm always like, why did I just put my lipstick on? I just ruined it. And now I don't feel like putting it back on. And I'm not going to. So... This is wonderful, wonderful. I'm not one to like, I say I'm not one to spend $10 on lipstick. I'm not one to spend a lot of money on lipstick, so I'm glad that I found this lipstick. And I kind of found it by accident because I wanted a, like a fall color in the summertime. And I got the dark color and I was like, God, this lasts long. So. See? Nothing. Miracles, go buy it. And I am not sponsored. None of this is sponsored. Um, it's just my honest opinion. Um, I love this lipstick. You need it in your makeup collection. If you do not have it, go buy it. Go buy every one of them. All right, maybe not every one of them. Maybe you want to. Go buy them all. I don't care. 
I need every one of them. But go buy this. This one's amazing. Like I said, not sponsored, but this is amazing. Okay, that's all I have for you guys. My makeup is fully finished. This is all that I do for just a natural look. Sorry, my hair looks a hot mess. Let's see. This is just what I do for a natural look. Um, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any tips. I know I'm not a pro, but this looks terrible. I know I'm not a pro, but if you have any tips for me, please let me know. Um, not trying to be a pro. I just like doing my makeup occasionally. Um, if you have any requests for videos that you would like to see further, please let me know. And I will try to do so with limitations, of course. But please um, like, subscribe if you like this video. I will be trying to do fall like the orange, like an orange cut fall look on my eye, um, my eyelids with my eyeshadow soon. Um, so if you want to see it and you want to be notified when it comes on, please subscribe and I will see you guys next time. May God bless.